Hello, and welcome to this BigML tutorial. Today we will conduct a text analysis of movie data. More specifically, we will be using topic modeling to retrieve information from the text, and eventually use the model for further projects. The first step in starting a BigML project is to enter the dashboard. Here we will have access to all our workflows and projects. Once we make sure we are in the project we are going to be working in, we will want to create our source. There are many ways of retrieving sources, but in most cases, the source will be downloaded from our local computer. Once we have found our data, we will create our source. After the completion of our source, we will create the dataset that will be the basis of our topic model. BigML often provides two ways in creating objects. The simpler way, using a one-click method, where we let BigML choose default parameters, and the configure method, where we get to manipulate the parameters ourselves. If we enter the configure menu, we can see that we have the choice to enter what percentage of the source we want to use. But since we will want all 100%, which is the BigML default, we'll go into the one-click menu and use one-click dataset. Once our dataset has been created, we can see all our fields and a short summary of the instances. We could enter the word cloud of our overview field and see which words come up the most. We can see that friends, lives, love, life all appear in the overview many times. Overview is our most important field since it has the majority of our text. Since the instances with no overviews will lead to a bad text analysis, we should look to drop those instances. Because we want to manipulate our dataset, we will enter the configure menu and scroll to filter dataset. Here we will see the option of choosing any field we will want to filter on. We will want to drop instances that have missing overviews, therefore we will select the overview field and choose a method to filter. BigML provides many methods, and to our convenience, it has provided a method that already filters missing values. We will click to keep all non-missing values, name our dataset, and finally click Create. Once we have a modified dataset ready, we will want to create our topic model. As discussed in creating our dataset, we have the configure and one-click options for our topic model. In configure, we can set the number of topics, terms, and also set a term limit. However, we will go to one-click topic model and let BigML strategically choose the appropriate number of topics and terms for our dataset. After our topic model has completed, we are presented with a topic map that illustrates each topic by different sizes and colors. If we select a specific topic, we can see the words that carry a higher probability within it. In topic zero, human, earth, secret, and mission are the top four words. This topic sounds like sci-fi movies. In this case, we can choose to edit the name of the topic and change it to sci-fi. Different topics are associated with words that help differentiate each other. In topic three, we can see words like investigate and killer, describing the movies in this topic to maybe be some sort of mystery of murders. A useful method that BigML provides can be found in the one-click menu, and it is topic distribution. Here, we can write a movie and see what topics it is most associated with. If we write in the title, the end, and then write a description that sounds like a sci-fi movie, we will see that our label sci-fi topic will have the highest probability of being associated to our newly created overview. If we change our overview to something related to death and about a detective named Joe, we see the murder mystery topic discussed from before. On an additional note, BigML provides a term chart to see the topics laid out in another perspective. Here, we can more easily compare each topic's words. This is a good breaking point to what information you can easily gain through topic model analysis for text through the user interface. BigML does allow ways for one to extract and use the information from this topic model for further investigation. 
First, we will go in the one-click menu to create a batch topic distribution. We will use our original dataset as the batch, and then we will click Create. Once our new dataset has been completed, we will choose the option of outputting the new batch distribution as a dataset in BigML. This newly created dataset has all topics as new fields, and each instance is now probabilistically associated with each topic. Instead of just having a text as a field, we now have broken down the text into several columns, giving it a new structure and deriving meaning out of the text. This new dataset can be used for many applications. One option would be to conduct further analysis by clustering. We can go to the configure menu, set the number of clusters to 16, since that is about a reasonable number to split movies into groups by, and click create cluster. Once our cluster has finished, we can see our clusters in different sizes and colors, somewhat like the topic model. If we enter a cluster and click the overview of word cloud, we can see the words that have the highest frequency in the overview of each instance in this cluster. We see words such as father, family, and story. These movies are most likely about family. Clustering does not particularly do an amazing job if it is presented with just a text field, but since our new dataset had new probability fields, BigML's clustering algorithm had a much easier task when it was coupled with the topic model's distributions. Another scenario to use the topic distribution is to download the dataset as a CSV. Let's go back to our batch distribution and click to download the dataset as a CSV. Once we open the download to CSV, we can see all the instances and the new probability fields. This CSV can be used for other projects. One such project could be a recommendation system. Since the text has been converted numerically, we can plot these distributions on a high dimensional plane. This allows us to find nearest neighbors of instances, which in a recommendation system would be the movies to recommend. This workflow and the ideas presented in it can be generalized, since all we would need to create an analysis or a recommendation system is a simple title and an overview. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and hopefully you get a better insight on how to apply and analyze the information from BigML's topic models.